I'm spending some time this morning talking with recently published author Rodney Ross. Now, Rodney's a little new to this area, as we mentioned, Rodney. Indeed, yes. Three, three years. I, I, I would say that pretty much makes us a veteran, but we've not had, <laughs> no, since we've lived here, we've not had a hurricane evacuation yet. I think I'm supposed to say H word and not hurricane. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you're not really, you don't live in Key West, so you have to hightail it out of town right. once. So. <laughs> well, let's hope that doesn't happen anytime. Let's hope not. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the cool part of his pillow. Okay, the cool part of his pillow, I basically, is about what kicks it off is my narrator, uh, Barry Grooms, is a man, a gay man of a certain age in his mid-40s, living a magical, enviable life, owns his own uh, design gallery, um, partnered uh, two beautiful pug dogs, and then on his 45th birthday, um, a, a hideous uh, construction crane collapse takes both his partner and the dogs and their Mercedes. Oh, no. And not only that, but uh, somebody who happened to be videotaping nearby captures it all on video, and it ends up on YouTube. So he gets to see his partner's death go viral. Um, and it's the next year or so of him navigating the surreal conveyor belt of grief, uh, the good advice of friends and family, people's agendas sometimes, and how he actually reinvents and repurposes his life. Mm -hmm. And okay. the chapter does play, take place in Key West. Okay. This is one place that he seeks consolation and answers. Okay, it, it sounds very interesting. I'm very intrigued. Now, what do you hope that readers kind of get from this book? I, re I really hope that, even though this book is definitely LGBTQ, all these acronyms, uh, it's very uh, gay-specific as far as the character goes, I hope people take away uh, not only a sense of survival, uh, in uniquely hideous circumstances, but also a sense of humor that, which, which sounds odd, but I'm gonna qu uh, use a tired quote from Steel Magnolias, and that is, uh, laughter through tears is my favorite emotion. Sometimes the best way to actually get through really hard things is to find something to latch on and laugh at. Mm -hmm. And that's what I hope the book has. It's very dark humor, a lot of irony, a couple of reviews online have said the narrator is downright snarky, but he's not coming from a, a healthy, well place yet. So he's very suspicious, very bitter. He sees other couples still together and is angry. You know, why, why are they still partnered and I am alone at 45? What options do I have? So I think people, I hope people take away that you can prevail mm -hmm. no matter what and that humor and a smile will help you. I love that. The survivor mentality. Right indeed. <laughs> indeed. It's not a self-help book, but if you find that in there, perfect. <laughs> Go for it. All right. Where do you get inspiration at here in Key West? I, I certainly get inspiration from the island itself. Um, there are so many literary ghosts here. I'm certainly Hemingway, Tennessee Williams, and so many great writers that live here in town now. Judy Bloom, uh, 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 David Sloan, mm -hmm. who is on. Yeah, I mean, he's a, a noted Key West writer. Um, I get a lot of inspiration from that, but by and large, I think just the atmosphere here, that um, it's very relaxed, it's very, uh, not even tolerant, because I really don't like that word, it's very uh, all-encompassing here, mm -hmm. and I feel inspired just by the freedom mm -hmm. that, that all of that entails. Riding out by my pool, riding on my front porch, I have an idea when I'm taking a bike ride, I always have a pen and paper handy. Um, so this island has really freed both I and my partner in a, in a way of exploring a, a, a side of us that we really couldn't when we were in the big city and working, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, 40, 50, 60 hours a week. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, now you mentioned uh, a handful of authors. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about who would be one author, historical or living, that you would love to meet and talk with. I, I say this in every interview, every time I'm mm -hmm. asked, and that is John Irving, who probably is most notably known for The World According to Garp, uh, the Hotel New Hampshire. He has a new book called In One Person. I am, I was inspired by him as an adolescent and I still am. His writing is so uh, vibrant and descriptive and vivid. He is not afraid to do awful things to his characters and watch them somehow wriggle out of bad situations or survive. And so I really look to, to his work and his whole example and his output as as something I would aspire to. I'm a first author, first time mm -hmm. author, so I have a long way to go to be mm -hmm. John Irving or even touch the hem of his nightgown. 
Okay. Well, you're you're going to do it. You are. I hope Rodney. so. We'll <laughs> see. We'll see. All right. Before we go, what advice would you have for other aspiring writers out there, Rodney? I would say beyond obviously writing, mm -hmm. um, they should read. They should read and they should read and they should read some more until their eyes fall out of their sockets. You cannot be a good writer unless you're informed by other people's writing. And so I would say, have your nose in a book at all times, whether it's fiction, nonfiction, biography, um, the trashiest beach read. You learn something from everything you write. And the takeaway from that, and for me, has been I've seen some of the pitfalls, some of the plot twists that didn't work. And so I know when I'm writing, ah, avoid that, Rodney. Don't put yourself in a corner. I would say, read. Read. I Absolutely. Like that. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming on thank the show today. Thank you so much. Sharing information about, out about the book and where can people find it? Absolutely. You can certainly, if you're in a shop locally, you can go to Key West Island Books on Fleming, right across from uh, Fausto's, and find it there. You can also go, of course, to Amazon.com. It's on Kindle, Barnes and Noble. It's on Nook, various other e-reader sites. You can also go to DreamSpinnerPress.com, my publisher. They also have it for sale. Wonderful. Check it out or email Rodney as well. His email address is on the screen. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.